how to create a search bar in Canva. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a search bar into a Canva design. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over canva.com. Then you need simply to select the design that you want. If you have a specific dimension in mind, you are going to click on create a design then you are going to put the custom size. If you don't have, you are simply going to select any of these um, templates that you have. For example, you are going to select logo. Then we have 500 by 500 pixels. And right there, we are going to select and create uh, the uh, search bar. So how we can begin with that, simply you are going to uh, the elements, then you are going to select search bar, for example, if you want to make things easier, you are going to see here the graphics. And after that, you are going to choose one of these graphics. For example, this is a search bar. And here we can go ahead and see the specific right away uh, search bar. So if you want to create it manually, you are going to set it like this. So we are going to the element. Go ahead and select the shape, for example, like that. But put it here, uh, as you can see, white then make it a little bit like that make it a little bit wider put it here to the center of the top then we are going to select elements again then we are going to set up search for example search then we are going to select the uh, graphics for the search we need only this specific one i'm going to flip it horizontally make it a little bit smaller put it here at the middle and here we have it so we're going to set cross now we are going to see here the cross here we have it we can go ahead and set this so we can go ahead and put it like that and boom to make it a little bit smaller and here we have it this is the search bar when you finish you're going to click on uh, save or share download it as a png then you are going to remove the background of it that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. I hope to see you soon on the next one.